Rudy, why do you have that so much food in that pantry? In case the stores close and things like that. In case we have a big snowstorm and we can't get out. So, you know, I have a lot of food in there. I try to keep a year's supply in case something happens that, you know, you weren't counting on happening and you can't get to the stores. Are you one of those prepper guys? Well, I mean, I guess you can say I'm not one of those crazy prepper guys that you see like on TV that think that the world is coming to an end. But I guess I guess you can call me a prepper if you want. I just like to be prepared in case something happens. Crazy. Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, Rudy, what is this? Oh, this? This is a flashlight. You've never seen one like this? No. Well, this flashlight is really cool because you can crank it to power it. And you can also power it with the sun. You see this little solar panel here? And you can also plug it into the wall to to uh, power it but the coolest thing about this flashlight is that if you crank it for like one minute you get like 15 minutes of light just by cranking it for one minute so if you lose electricity you can actually use this to light your house because it's a lantern I mean it's a flashlight you see and also it's a lantern and you can actually even stand it up and point it where you want it Wow, that's nice. Oh no, it looks like we lost electricity. We better get out our Yuko candelier. That's better. What is that, Rudy? Oh, this this is called the Yuko Candelier. Since we lost electricity, this thing provides light. As you can see, that is lighting up this area. And also, it gets uh, nice and warm. You can actually heat a small room with this. So if you lost electricity and you lose your heat at the same time, you could actually heat up a real small room with this. And it will keep you warm or warm enough until the electricity comes back on oh that's nice man i wish i had some coffee well we don't have electricity but do you know that you can heat up water in this you can heat water in this you want me, want me to make you some coffee with this yes all right oh wow look at that water it's boiling so you see you can boil water in this so that you can make coffee and you can also boil water in this so that you can Prepare some of your long-term freeze-dried food storage. What long-term food storage? Oh, just a second. I'll I'll, I'll show you. After after uh, uh, we make some coffee, we'll make some. Uh, do you like potato chowder? Yes. Okay. Well, just a second. We'll make some here in a minute. We'll heat up some more water, but it's gonna take like twenty minutes for the water to heat up in this. So by the time we're done drinking our coffee, we can have some potato chowder. That'll be good. So do you like this? Yes. That's nice. All right, the water should be hot enough now for us to make our soup, but we're just going to have to be careful because we don't have that much light, even though this thing gives out a pretty good amount of light. Oh, all right, the light's back on. All right, so so all we have to do, you wanna, you wanna see how we prepare this? Come and look at this. This is the potato soup, see? All you gotta do is take one third of a cup of this potato soup. And by the way, just in case, if you wanna purchase this potato soup, mother-in-law, all you have to do is go to the Alaska Prepper channel, go to any of his videos and use his emergency essentials link. And by purchasing it through that link, you'll be supporting the channel. Oh, that's nice. And now that you have your third of a cup of third of a cup of potato soup mix in there, all you have to do is take your really hot water and pour it on there. And preferably you want to stir it and keep it in the heat, but as long as you have that boiling water in there, 
and then you just cover it for a few minutes, it should come out all right. Well, while the, while the potato soup heats up and it gets rehydrated, we'll just have our coffee. So are you enjoying your coffee? Yes, that's really good. How'd you make it? Oh, I made it with this. Have you ever seen one of these? This is called a French press. No, I haven't. Well, look, this little French press, all you have to do is heat up the water. You put your coffee in there and you press it down and it makes all of the coffee grinds go to the bottom and then it leaves you with nice coffee. Yeah. And that way you don't have to worry about plugging in one of those coffee makers into an electric socket and you can use it if there's a power outage. That's nice. All right, it looks like the potato soup is done. Let me give it a try, see how it tastes. Oh, that's really good. You wanna try some? Yes. Okay, here, wait a second. Oh, it came out nice and thick too. Here you go. How'd you like it? Wow, that's really good. Yeah, and it's pretty cool that this lasts up to 25 years, huh? Really? Yeah, if, as long as you don't open it, it'll last up to 25 years. As long as you keep it in a temperature-controlled room, like around between 60 and 70 degrees or so, this will last up to 25 years without going bad. So you can use it in an emergency. Like, if you can't go to the supermarket and you run out of food, you can always use this to supplement your nutrition when, until everything comes back up and running. That's nice.